guys on this video i'm going to show you how to start your adobe photoshop and how i put these logos here once again guys these logos here are not paying me to do this video it's just that i and my family are users one of this product here okay now this logos here i took it from google and i downloaded it and put here on photoshop now let's start <clears throat> uh, we'll close this one and we will open photoshop create new print later, later on i will teach you how to use this one what's the purpose of this here and then a4 uh, title for example logos at ease we will not touch this one here as the standard uh, format of adobe photoshop we will use millimeters and portrait rgb color white then create okay now this is the standard screen of photoshop okay some of these tools here you cannot see you just click here on this button here and then click essentials or reset essentials okay or here on windows make sure that your layer is checked and the rest of the tools and here also on the work uh, page you can click also essentials default okay now here on files open command o so once again if you're using pc uh, maybe uh, the function of your keyboard is different than my keyboard because i'm using macbook air this time so memorize this one command o and search it on google what is the difference of your if you cannot see this function in your keyboard okay so open and then we will choose Acer for example because it's on the top and open and then click and slip down or slide down and then click and slide out okay uh, actually it's automatic that you choose this one and here on the layer make sure that it looks like this the layer played a very important in photoshop because later on when we have to com combine pictures a lot of pictures the layer is very important especially when you segregate uh, because it's it's one thing that helps you to identify which one which layer is that which layer is the Acer, okay? Here you can see layer one, but actually you can change the name, for example, Acer, okay? And then in enter. Another way, the other way of uh, putting the, how do you say that? The logo is you go to file and place link this is what i always do why because like this for example i will choose this uh brand of beer shimei they call it shimei or what is that okay you see this brand here if you can see here on the layer it's automatic yeah <clears throat> Now, I will click outside. Um, this one here, make sure that it's uh, checked. Why? Because if like this, it's not checked. Once you click it, you cannot see here which one is uh, functioning this time. So make sure that you check that one. So when you click the Acer, you see, you can see here okay and that one also now <clears throat> uh, to resize your logo 
For example, the acer, I will put here. Yeah. You have to press Command T. Okay, so in this way, you can resize it. And also, you see this arrow? When you see this, you can rotate the object. Yeah? You see that? Now, when you want to use undo or redo, it's the same thing in InDesign. So you have to press uh, Command Z or Command Shift Z. Okay? So Command Z, I will twist it like that so that you can see the difference, the big difference. Command Z or Command Shift Z. Okay? Z, Command Z. Okay, so what else? Uh, okay, so now we will not go to file, but we will use command O as in open. You see? So it's automatic. <clears throat> now you can just click here. The same thing you did in, I did it in InDesign. Shift and then click. Okay, so if you want to choose multiple uh, multiple images okay, and then open yeah <clears throat> and then you can put here you see it's a lot so the first thing is the acer we can delete that Ready and where is the sh uh, here is the shimmer. You can click it, delete it. So each one of this you can do it the same thing that I did before, like doing that and then putting here like that and then command T transform. Yeah, you have to do it fast also because. It's the same thing in, yeah, I will click this. I will not put all of it. It's the same thing with in design also. You have to do it fast. Okay, so I guess that's all. And please keep practicing and make sure that you can do it fast as you can. Okay, so we will go to file this time and we will save it. And then save on your computer. We will find the YouTube folder and save it. Okay. And here on document, this is our file. Okay. PSD. Okay, so that's all for now, guys. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe. Bye.